Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais here on the set of Extras. Extras 2 coming soon. People are busy working away and uh, they're annoying me a little bit because I'm trying to do this. So I'm in charge. Shut up! That's power. Okay, back to work. Um, and uh, 14th September, the new series starts. Um, we're here filming a scene for the final episode, actually. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you around, shall I? Okay. I know what you're thinking. What hospital are we filming in? It's not a hospital. She's not a real nurse. <laughs> We just put this in. Hey? Do these look ill? <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> We're going into the main studio now. We're just using a little corridor there for our hospital. Ooh. In the wrong studio. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, who's this little face? Excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? It's Robert Lindsay of oh, my right. family. <laughs> well, not just my family. Citizen Smith GBH. Repeated soon on E4. One of the best drama series of the last 25 years. What are you doing here, Robert? Well, I... Why am I? Yeah, I'm, I've been asked to work with you two. That's an exclusive. That's not out. That's something the papers haven't got. Robert Lindsay's an extras as well. There's a little bonus for you. So, there's a little teaser of uh, Extras 2 coming soon. Um, September the 14th, BBC 2, 10 o'clock. Um, but check out the website. Uh, I'll do one of these every few days. Um, Oh. Oh, sorry. I've gone toilet. Oh, I've gone toilet. Can you empty it? Can you empty it? I don't know how he's getting away with this. Listen to this, right? Crudge evolved by goggles at one end and flagy plays at the other, right? Eventually becoming whittles. Some crudge went on the other way, developing a uniflap and becoming a spleen. Spleen grew, in, grew into flunts and whittles branched out as scribblers and wumps. So I don't understand why people want to read about these sort of made up animals when there's there's weirder stuff than this knocking about anyway do you know what I mean like uh, I read something about uh, a crab that what it does it's born right and then it's floating about in the sea and it spends its days looking for uh, a mussel do you know like the, the mussels you get in the sea it spends its day finding one of them that's got a little gap in it gets in it that's it. That's it's done its sort of life's job. It just gets in the muscle and stays there. So that's that's pretty weird. Do you know what I mean? You don't you don't need to sort of invent a spoon, a spluff, and a wumpf. The Mulon. It's the most intelligent being on the planet. It believes that all life is precious and never knowingly hurts another flanimal. The saddest sound in the universe is the whimper of a thousand moulons when one dies. 
Do you know what I mean? That's, that's quite sad, isn't it? It's like whale noises, that, isn't it? Because they say, uh, what do they say? Like how a whale, if a whale's crying, another whale can hear it from miles away. Which must be well annoying, because I think, like, say if, if you're a whale and you're sick of hearing things crying, you'd travel miles to get away from that whale that's crying. But then, as you're going away from it, the chances are you're going towards another whale that's crying. So you can't get away from whales crying. And yet people say, oh, if I come back, I'd like to come back as a whale. There's no way I'd do that. Just having all stuff crying around you, you'd be well depressed. That's why they always look sad, whales. Because all they're hearing is crying. That's like a moulin. Yeah. I don't know what order this was in. Not that it matters. You know what I mean?